Thanks for stopping by. If you're watching this, then you're interested in the MacBook Pro, the 2016 and the 2015 model. Now, this is my first video that I've ever done where I'm comparing side by side. It's a versus challenge. Bear with me, because this one is, it's just sort of a quick uh, pros and cons list of both. So if you're just looking for some basic user stuff, you just want to see how it might fit to you, check it out. And I am working on a more detailed one for the, the daily user. That's not really a tech guy. And that one should be out any day now. So subscribe and check that one out as well. It's going to be 10 times better than this one. It's been a full week or more now since I picked up the 2015 and 2016 MacBook Pro. These are both the base models. This is the base model 2015. This is the base model 2016. I've been using them mostly for Final Cut Pro, so I'll be discussing them with that in mind. I've made a little cheat sheet on some things about both of them. I'm going to start out talking about battery usage. I like to use the screen pretty much to the full brightness, so I did some tests to see how long it would take for the batteries to deplete watching videos on YouTube. So I set them up both on autoplay and I let them just cycle through until they were out. Both were at full screen brightness and the audio was only set up to three bars on both of them. With constant video play on YouTube with one video cycling one after the other, the 2015 lasted four hours and five minutes until it turned itself off. While the 2016 lasted five hours and 15 minutes. So there was definitely longer battery life on the new 2016. Most times were 100% full charge, depleted to 0% where the computer shut itself off. Four hours and five minutes on the old, five hours, 15 minutes on the new. This is something that surprised me is I, I hear about the USB-C and how it's a quick charge. So after they were both fully depleted, I charged them both again. I was expecting this one to charge much faster, the 2016. Well, the 2015 charged in an hour and 45 minutes from 0 to 100, while the 2016 charged in an hour and 51 minutes from 0 to 100. It's a little longer to charge the 2016, but you do get an hour longer life out of it for intensive video usage. After a week and a half or so it's use out of both of them, I am returning one. I've decided which one that is finally. I prefer the keyboard feel, the screen brightness, and the audio on the new one. I'll be returning the 2015. This one also has a smaller hard drive space, which isn't that big of a deal considering I'm doing most of my work off of external hard drives. The keyboard feel on this is so spongy and bouncy that I don't like it. The keyboard on this one, I'm not a fan of it at all because I'm not one that can just look at the screen and type so I actually sort of look at the keys so when I'm done I look up and there's a bunch of characters missing because it didn't depress all the way with this one no problems thing keyboard works great on this one it's loud it's much louder than this one but it works better the screen brightness between the two throughout this video it looks like the 2015 shows brighter blues and darker greens but in real life it is a hundred percent opposite. The 2016 shows a much better uh, contrast ratio from your darks to lights. It shows more vivid colors. Everything on this one screen looks a hundred times better than this one. I can't seem to capture that and show it to you, but I am trying and you'll just have to take my word for it. The weight isn't a huge deal to me, but it is nice. The, the lighter weight, you know, Apple makes such a big deal about it being lighter and everything and you're like, whatever, it doesn't matter. But honestly, after uh, traveling with this one for a week to the Colorado mountains, this one works really well and the weight does affect it a tiny bit. So, I mean, I have to give props to that one. It's not a huge deal. It's definitely not a deal breaker if you're tighter on money and that extra couple hundred bucks is, you know, you don't have it, then there's nothing wrong with the weight on this one. As far as audio goes, that's a pretty big difference too. The built-in speakers on this one are night and day different than this one. This one sounds like an iPhone put into a cup, so it's very hollow sounding. It's louder than this one, but it doesn't sound nearly as good. 2016 wins on that one hands down. The biggest thing that I thought was going to be a huge issue for me were dongles. I, I thought it was going to just absolutely suck not having right ports and needing SD card adapters and all this other stuff. After taking this one to Colorado for a week and using it extensively with just these two dongles, this dongle here is an SD card reader. Well, I use the same SD card reader with the old one and it is much harder to use because it's I have to actually pull it out to switch the SD cards. It has a micro and a standard where this one I can just sort of lift it up and get to it really easy so it actually ended up being more convenient to use this 
on a dongle than it was directly into the computer. Not something I foresaw at all. The other thing I was using with the computers was the external hard drive. Uh, if you haven't flown lately, the seats are smaller and smaller. There was a spot in the seat above me, I could put the hard drive and it wouldn't reach to this one. But with that extra couple of inches of the dongle, made its way into the 2016 and I was able to use the computer on the airplane. Mainly due to those things, I will be returning to 2000. 15 MacBook Pro back to the store. I honestly thought I was gonna keep this one and return that one. Both are great laptops, and if you can get this one like I did for $12.99, I'd say go for it. It has no touch bar. I'm still not sold on the touch bar, but for $17.99, I don't wanna spend an extra $500 for a touch bar that I don't really need. So that pretty much sums up everything that I experimented with. If you have any questions and I left something out, please let me know in the comments below. I don't do a whole lot of these versus videos. This is actually a first for me. This is a really hard decision. I don't have money to just be throwing around all this kind of stuff. So I put a lot of thought into this and I've been experimenting with these nonstop for the last week and a half or so. Goodbye 2015 MacBook Pro. You are going back to Best Buy. Hello 2016 MacBook Pro. Thanks for watching. Click like, subscribe to my channel, check out my California vlog. We did some travel vlogging. I've got some great video. All that footage was edited with this, except for the last couple of videos, and that was with this. Check it out, and thank you again for coming by. Appreciate it.